Hello YouTube, um, I am going to start a project up here that I am going to show you how it's done and show you through the process and see how it works for me. Um, so I am building a duck coop. Um, so basically this summer I am going to get a few ducks, start out with two and see from there. I might go up to like three or four, um, but first things first, I need to build a duck coop. Um, I'm sorry about the shakiness, I'm trying to hold it with one hand, it's not wor working too well. So anyways, yeah, um, this is the duck coop once again. Um, it's two foot back and four foot wide, um, and I'm building it out of four by fours. Those are the sides right there, two by fours across there, and then old fencing going along there. Um, and then that's my roof, that's just made out of plywood. Um, and then I got a ramp that I am making so the ducks can get in and out. So a short little thing about what the duck coop is. Um, it's going to be a foot off the ground. Um, that way, I don't know, I just made it a foot off the ground. <laughs> I, I, don't really, I can't tell you why. Um, and then on this side, it's 52 inches high. On this side, it's 44 inches high. So there's going to be a little under three foot of headroom for them. Um, and then... The roof is at a slant, that way the snow comes down, because I live in Colorado, so the snow needs to be able to run off in the rain and all that stuff. Um, but basically, that is that. Um, I don't really know what more to explain. It's a foot off the ground using 2 by 4s The fencing is going to be little slats inside of there, so I'm going to use a router or something, and then make little grooves in the middle of the 2 by 4s Those can fit in. Uh, to fit the 2 by 4s up, oh, hold up, my phone is dropping. Okay, to fit the 2 by 4s to the 4 by 4s I am um, drilling 1 inch holes, and I bought a 1 inch dowel that I'm going to be drilling into, or putting in each side and gluing in, and then I might drill from the inside. Um, and then on the inside, I'm also going to have a 2 by 4 laying their long way so that the 4 inches is going down in there, um, and then a couple of them going that way with a piece of plywood on it. Um, and then also right here, I have the entrance to the duck coop, which I'm going to have a 2 by 4 going up there, up there, and then one going across, again with the slats going that way. On that side, I'm going to have the same exact design, but with a, um, a, an egg box thing on this side. That way they have a place to go lay their eggs and stuff. Um, and hopefully it works good. So let's go over the materials it takes. It is 16 foot of 4x4, four four. Um, so there's four sides, you know, four, or four legs, each one being 4 foot tall once you equivalent it out, equivalent, once you, um, like, equal it out. Cause see, this side is 52 and this side is 44, so that equals 48 per thing, so that's 4 foot. Um, so 16 foot, so that's two 4x8s. 6 foot of fencing, um, that is, it's 4 foot this side two foot this side and it's only three foot tall so you cut each slat in half six foot it's 12 foot around the whole perimeter but being that you cut them in half you have six foot of fencing um, I'm just using some old fencing that we have because we had some fence blow down and got hit by a car and stuff um, two foot by four foot of plywood it's actually two of those so four foot by four foot of plywood so half a sheet um, half of it goes up there so two foot by four foot up there Half of, it is, half of it is their floor, again, two foot by four foot. Oh, also about the roof, it's gonna, I have two hinges that go on each side, and that's going to open up. That way it can clean out the inside. And then you have 50 feet of two by four, because you got four, eight, 12, 16 foot here. And then you got, what is it, two, four, six, eight foot there. And then you got the insides, and you got these things, so a lot of two by fours. Um, so that equivalent... Equates out to about seven two by fours, um, and that leaves you a little bit more. And then one, I just got one sheet of four by eight plywood. Um, but yeah, the two by four by eights, I already learned because I've started working on it, and I'll show you some of that. Already learned two by four by eights actually aren't eight foot long; they're seventy two and a half inches long. Wait, seventy two and a half? That sounds right. My math might be off. Probably is. Anyways, um, it's like four and a half inches short or something so that really messed me up big time um so it's going to be a little bit narrower than that it's like 32 and a quarter inches by 
hard, two foot. Um, but it was, it'll be close to about there. Um, and then, yeah, I'll just bring you along for the ride of all this. Um, I'll go outside right now and show you guys all the different materials. So let me show you first off where the ducks are going to live. They're going to live, oh, there it goes. They're going to live in this little area here for now. Um, we might, on the other side of the shed, allow them to go back here also. There is a little thing going through there that they can fit through. Um, but over here, let me go back. Over here, got a little pond. With some fish, you'll see them swimming around from time to time. I have like 20 fish in there or so. Um, and then some plants also to equalize everything out and keep it somewhat clean. Um, and the ducks can go in there. The duck coop is going to go up against that fence. I'm going to move everything here. Or not up against the fence, up against the um, shed. <laughs> I'm going to move everything there. Um, that's a little ramp they're going to have there. Oh, there's Gus again. Um, then right here, I've already cut these down. These are the 4x4s. Those and these ones here. Um, these are the long 2x4s for the 48 inch sides. And these are the short ones for the 24 inch sides. And then these are for the openings. One of them is going to be for the for them getting in and out. And one of them is going to be for the, um, the egg box that they can get into. Um, and then I don't really know what I have planned here. I'm going to throw some seed down and get some grass going for them. And whatnot. And then over here, we have our little tomato gardens with some peppers that we haven't planted yet that are over that way. And then our raspberry bush and lilacs and stuff like that. Um, so hopefully that will all be good. And then I'm going to go wander on over here to show you the rest of the material that we have. Um, so over here I'm going to grow some stuff also. I have a little pond down here that's super stagnant. Um, I don't have anything in it, so I need to figure out what to do with that. Um, but let me stand back here. Right here is the 4x8 piece of plywood. And then my 2x4s that I haven't used up yet. That I'll cut down to size and everything. And then, oh that's going to be for the fencing by the way for the ducks. That way they stay where they're going to be. That's the post. And then over there we have all the different fencings and everything. Um, and then last but not least, oh sorry about the wind by the way. Last but not least, we have the slats that are going to go in the middle. It's old fencing. So you've got the corner hit over there beyond my Civic. Um, and we got all that replaced and we got a couple things over there. Anyways, we're going to use those for slats. And then that other one you saw over there behind the 4x8 place of plywood, we are going to be using for a fence. We're not going to use all of it. We're only going to use about half of it. We're going to cut it down there also so it's not too tall. Um, and then the rest of those I'll be able to use also. <laughs> and then my sawhorses. Um, but let me show you the fencing that we're using. I'll be right over there in a second. So, this is the fencing we're going to be using. It is 2 inch by 4 inch welded wire, 40 foot, or 4 foot tall and 50 foot long. We're not going to use all 50 foot of it. Um, but that's going to be for the main fence in between the tomato garden and just the fence in the shed. And we've got this little stuff here which is just poultry netting that we'll put on the fence. That way they aren't able to get out because that would not be good. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be that. And I'll run back inside and finish up all my thoughts. Here's our pepper plants, by the way. I figure I'd show you those since I showed you the tomato gardens. As you can see, they're all doing pretty good. Oh, Gus is looking at me. They're all doing pretty good right now. And hopefully they'll bring a lot of peppers. That way we can make a lot of salsa this summer because we almost ran out already and we have a couple more months till tomatoes get here so yeah i'll run back inside and finish up my thoughts so i'm back inside here just to wrap up my thoughts um i hope you enjoyed this video because it's been a while been a while since i made them but hopefully i'll be making a lot more with all the projects i have over summer um and i don't know what else to say hopefully the ducks live good i'll show you ducks um i'll bring you along with the the projects right now i don't have a camera i just use my iphone um, so I'm going to, oops, sorry about that. Hopefully I'm going to be able to get some sort of camera angle shots of me doing different work and whatnot, um, that will hopefully entertain you. Um, I don't really know, but that is the goal. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and...
come along on the journey with me and we'll see what else we have to offer because I'll be working on cars, I'll be working on ducks. I'm going to bring you along for the different um, plantings I have over there because that little area that has all the different, like, snap, that has the stagnant water, um, I'm hopefully going to be turning into like a permaculture kind of thing. Um, not necessarily permaculture because I don't know a whole lot. Like, I've never taken a PDC or anything, but hopefully I'll be able to use what I can and make something um, that's better than nothing. And hopefully that all works good. So thank you for watching. Once again, like, comment, subscribe, and see you next episode. Bye.